In this video, we're going to look at what we call the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so I'll write that down. Perpendicular bisector. Okay, so what this means is that we are looking for a line that cuts another line in half, it bisects it, and meets that line at right angles. So, for example, what we could look at is if this is the point, let's say, 0, 0, the origin, and this is the point 2, 3, I want to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector, the line that passes through the midpoint of 0, 0 and cuts the line in half at right angles. Okay, so I'm looking for the equation of this line. So, there are things that I'm going to need to know in order to find that equation. I need to know this point uh, to start off with. I need to know the midpoint. I also need to know the gradient of that line. Okay, now we know that the gradient of a line of a perpendicular line uses the negative reciprocal of the gradient of this line. Okay, so I'm going to need to find the gradient of this line as well as its midpoint. So let's do the midpoint bit first. So the midpoint, let's call this point M, has the coordinates where we have 0 plus 2 over 2 and 0 plus 3 over 2. So it has the coordinates 0 plus 2 is 2, over 2 is 1, and 0 plus 3 over 2 is 1.5, or just, I'm going to write it as 3 halves. Okay? So the midpoint M has the coordinates 1, 3 halves. I also need to find the gradient of this line. So the gradient of this line. Um, is the difference in the y-coordinates. Um, so 3 take away 0 over the difference in the x-coordinates. 2 take away 0. So 3 over 2, so that's 1.5. Okay? So the gradient of this line is 3 halves. So the gradient of this line, the perpendicular line, is the negative reciprocal of 3 halves, which is minus 2 thirds. So I know that the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y equals minus 2 thirds x plus a constant c that I need to find. I know that this line passes through the coordinates of m, which is 1, 3 halves. So if I sub 1, 3 halves into this equation, I am then going to be able to find the value of c. So y is 3 halves, x is 1, so minus 2 thirds times 1 is just minus 2 thirds, so plus c. So c is, this, is 3 halves plus 2 thirds. Okay, so you're going to have to remember how to add fractions here. So a bit of cross multiplication. We have 3 threes is 9, plus 2 twos is 4, over 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so 9 plus 4 is 13, so that's 13 sixths. So we can now say that the equation of the perpendicular bisector is minus 2 thirds x plus 13 over 6. Okay? Now, in a lot of cases, uh, you might be asked to put this into the particular format. There's a previous video that looks into how you can rearrange an equation like that. Okay? It's not in a particularly nice format, so if I multiply everything by 6... I can get 6y is equal to, well if I multiply minus 2 thirds by 6, 
I'm going to get 4, okay, so my, minus 4 rather, minus 4x plus 13, okay, so 6 times 13, 6 is 13. Then you can add 4x to both sides, and you can get it into this format, where, uh, which is a relatively nice format to have it in, okay. It depends whether you need to or not. If the question asks you to put it into the format of something like this, where a, b, and c are integers, then that is the answer that you would need. Okay, but for all intents and purposes, this is a perfectly fine version of the equation. Okay, and that is how you can find the negative reciprocal of, uh, well, sorry, the perpendicular bisector um, of the line between zero, zero, and two, three.